Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Mathematics. Really interesting question today, we need to solve this great uh, expression, we have 3 plus 3 divided by 3 and times 1 plus 1 in parentheses. So on the first side we, a lot of students can say, okay, I can handle this problem, this is like the easiest problem I've ever seen, because we have addition, division, multiplication, it's not like hard mass operations right here, we don't have any huge powers, we don't have any squares, we have like a regular easy expression, but with addition, division, multiplication and right here we have once more addition so as you can see a lot of operation and I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself right here we have a lot of op options we have option a b c and d so I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself it will be really interesting to check our answers in the end of the video okay let's try to rewrite this question so we have three plus three divided by three and in parentheses we have one plus one. I want to start with the next explanation. Take a look closely. We have right here addition is the first sign. Then we have division. This is our second sign right here. We have multiplication right here. So this is the second sign, third. And we have in parentheses, we have, we have addition. So as you can see, a lot of combinations right here. But what we need to start with, we need to add at first, then divide, multiply and parentheses. So from left to right or multiplication, division, addition. So the second combination. And we will have like a lot of combination with this four four steps but in mass we interested only in one solution so we cannot solve it in any two as a two options right here so we we cannot solve it like this question equal to equation equal to four or three we cannot solve it like that we need to solve it correctly and of course step by step and as you can see right here, we have a lot of operations, but we need to know what we need to start with, because a lot of students start with this addition, then division, then multiplication and parentheses. So a lot of students goes wrong and they go from left to right with this addition at first, which is absolutely incorrect, because addition at first, this is very bad and bad and huge, huge mistake. So for this question, I have this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. And let's solve this question according to this order of operation. Right here we have this PMDMC and let's solve this question because as you can see we right here have a lot of combinations so we need to know how can we solve it correctly and only one general solution. First of all we need to look at it in a perspective of PMDMC so we need to go from, from the top to the bottom. Right here we have a lot of steps so we just need to look at the steps uh, quickly. So the first step parentheses. Okay now let's look at this question and let's find maybe we'll have parentheses right here. Let's look at it. So 3 plus 3 divided by 3 and 1 plus 1 in parentheses. Yep, so we have parentheses right here. So the first step according to PMDMC is parentheses. And I would say that I respect every order of operation, but I choose PMDMC because this is the most popular order of operation in the world. But I respect every order of operation. I know every country have their own order of operation. They solve it in, in their own way. But I will solve it according to PMDMC because this is the most popular order of operation in the world. Okay, as I told before, right here we have parentheses. Yeah, we have this parentheses. So we need to start from this parentheses at first. So one plus one equal to equal to two. And we have three plus three divided by three and times two. Okay, so we have this, we have this question. And of course, we solve this in parentheses right here. And let's go to the next step. So as you can see, we find this expression in parentheses. Let's go to the next step. Next step is exponents. Okay, let's look at it. Maybe we'll have like exponents right here. Maybe squares, cubes right here. Let's look at it. Uh, I don't see any of those. We don't have any exponents. We don't have any squares, cubes. So we just we just skip this part. We don't need this part. This is really great because with exponents, our question will be like more complicated. Okay, let's go to the next step. Next step, multiplication. And a lot of students do this common mistake because they say, okay, multiplication, then we need to multiply it first. But we need to look at it as a group. So multiplication and division, this is one, one common group right here. And we need to look at it as a group. Let's look at it. Maybe we will have like multiplication and division sign. So right here, addition, we are not interested in this. Right here we have division. Yeah, we need this expression. And we have multiplication. We need this expression. So here is maybe the main question because we have multiplication and division part. But what we need to start with? We need to divide at first, then multiply, or multiply, then divide. All over the world, people discuss about these types of expression, multiplication first, then division, or division, then multiplication. But as I told before, I would solve it according to PMDMC and PMDMC tells us that we need to look at it from left to right. What is the first sign from left to right? We have division, we have multiplication, but the first sign from left to right is division. Yeah, right here we have division. So we need to divide at first, but I would say doesn't matter. It will be like multiplication, then you need to multiply it first. 
Yes, with the first sign from left to right is this division, so we have 3, 3 plus 3 divided by 3 equal to equal to 1 and times 2. So we already divide, so we just completed this step. We need to solve multiplication right here because we have 1 times 2 and we have like 3 plus 2 equal to equal to 5 option option c so we completed this multiplication step and we completed completed this addition part yeah we have the last step 3 plus 2 we don't have any subtraction so this is my solution my solution to this question right here and as you can see we solved this question correctly according to pmdmc so the first step parentheses then we have multiplication division from left to right in our case the first step is division part and the last step addition maybe the main key right here is to multiply and divide and after that you can easily add or subtract okay so i write our answer so we have answer this is option. Option C is a correct answer. So very tricky question. I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Write the thoughts about this question, right? How you solve it in your own country. It will be really interesting to read about it. What is your thoughts right here? Because interesting question and I hope you, you enjoyed this video. I wish you all the best and thank you for your time. Have a great day.